To correctly perform a turn in the road manoeuvre, you'll need to adopt the CORA technique. That's control, observation and reasonable accuracy. Control is control of speed. This is done with the clutch pedal. Once you've found the bite point, you'll have control of the car. Slight movement up will give gentle movement forwards or backwards. By pushing the clutch down again, you'll take the speed away and can come to a stop. If the car is travelling downhill, you might find that it starts to run away. By pushing the clutch to the floor and using the brake, you can control the speed and bring the car to a stop. At no point should you push the brake pedal if you've got your clutch at the bite point. The brake would be telling the car to stop, whilst the clutch is telling the car to go. It would likely stall. For observation, it's important that you check not only up and down the road, but the pavement to make sure there's no pedestrians. You've got three stationary positions. That's from the beginning, you would check around to make sure that it's clear to pull away. Before you start to reverse, you would check around to make sure that it's safe. And before you pull away to finish the manoeuvre. If at any point there's a car travelling towards you, you just stop and wait to see what they want to do. They've got a better view than you've got, so leave the decision to them. If they want to wait, let them wait and carry on to the next part of the manoeuvre. If you're halfway across the road and you see a car coming, just carry on. If you were to stop there, you would definitely block the road. Reasonable accuracy. With this manoeuvre, the idea is to try to get the car to turn in three, hence a three-point turn. The idea is to not hit the kerbs, not overhang the kerbs, but not stop so short that you can't get round in three. We'll be using full lock steering. That's as far as you can turn. And the idea with the steering is to follow a couple of basic steering rules. That is, do not cross your hands, use the correct pull-push technique, and don't use any dry steering. Dry steering is where you're turning the wheels without moving the car. That damages the tyres and puts extra pressure on the steering rack. So let's put the manoeuvre together and see what it looks like. From the beginning, you would check all the way round to make sure that it's clear as you prepare yourself in first gear. When you're happy, use your clutch control to move the car gently forwards and then turn full lock to the right quickly. As you go across the road, use your clutch control to control the speed. As you go over the camber, you push your clutch to the floor and use your brake to control the speed down the hill. As you approach the kerb, straighten your wheels up before you come to a stop and secure the car. Get yourself ready in reverse gear and do full observation once again. When you're happy that it's clear, you start to move backwards and turn full lock to the left. Again, use your clutch control to control the speed. As you come over the top of the camber, push your clutch down and use your brake to slow the car down. And stop so that you can just about see the kerb over your blind spot and judge how far from the kerb you are. The third part, as you pull forwards, you don't necessarily need full lock. Turn as much as you need to turn to get back into the normal driving line. The amount you need to turn depends on how wide the road is or how much angle you manage to get on the first two sections. If for some reason you don't feel that you're going to make it in a three-point turn and you feel that you're going to hit the kerb, just come to a stop, reverse back again, give yourself a bit more space and then pull away, making the manoeuvre a five-point turn. As we're only looking for reasonable accuracy, a fully controlled and safe five-point turn would be acceptable on driving test. The overall coordination that you're looking for is slow car with quick steering and plenty of observation. Let's have a look how it's done from inside the car. Get myself ready to move and then check all the way around. Make sure the roads are clear and the pavements are clear. Start the car moving slowly forwards. Check again and then turn full lock to the right. Enough power gentle clutch control, falling across the road, keep looking, straighten the wheels up as I come to a stop, just before the kerb. Secure the car, a good look both ways as I get reverse gear ready, and I'm happy that it's clear, start the car moving gently, 
will lock to the left. Look out the back window as I reverse. Keep checking around. As I approach the kerb, look over my right shoulder, I can see where the kerb is. I straighten the wheels up and gently stop. Get myself ready in first gear and have a final look around. I'm happy that it's clear. Pull away gently. Turn to the right as much as I need to turn. Get round into the normal driving line. And straighten the wheels. And check the mirror. And drive away. <laughs>